should do that. Let me see your hand. Oh, yeah, you. Out of that to solo, you weren't recording, were you? Look like it's still blinking. <laughs> Make sure it's still working. Okay. So with your with your left hand, you're gonna move this up. With your left hand, and the optional is to add the nine. And here's the nine. So this is a, what kind of scale is this that I said earlier? Minor? Dorian? No, what, what's the major scale that runs against the C minor? A, uh, B flat. Yes, yeah, so those are the notes that you use, so don't throw other notes in there just because it looks like you should. against the metronome in your head since we don't have the metronome what happened to the metronome? maybe we do have the metronome maybe there it is yeah so Pretend the bass line is going and use those left hand chords and let's hear some more solo ideas. Two, three, four, uh. uh. What are you playing? What are you playing? Yeah. No F's on that first chord. Where's the nine? Where's the nine? C minor. You're playing two notes that ain't got nothing to do with C minor. Isn't that one of the lakes? 
Run an E flat scale against the C minor. E flat. Except no A flat. That's actually still a B flat scale because there's only two flats. That is a B flat scale. What? No A flat. See that? That's what's what's throwing is you 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 still haven't memorized. There's a lot of memory work you have to do. You haven't memorized what notes you can and can't use in your major and minor scales. Mm -hmm. If you don't know that, then you're guessing and you're just throwing stuff in just because the time is running out and you got to do something. But it, but you got to memorize all those scales. If you don't, then you're gonna be playing wrong notes or notes that don't fit. This is a C minor chord that you're playing. So you need to take both of those chords, take them two at a time, the first two and the second two, and just play a chord in, play, first play the root, mm -hmm. which is, uh, go back to the first chord, your root is going to be a D. First play the root, and then play the chord with your left hand that your right hand normally plays. Play that chord with your left hand. The three notes, yeah, three or four notes, and run the appropriate scales. We're not, we're, we're, we've taken the metronome off, so there's no time pressure. It's just to get the right notes. Uh, 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 a minor, A minor, A minor, oh, A minor, A minor, no C sharp. Second chord, C minor, C minor. So that whole scale is going to change because you went up. Where's your ninth? Where's your ninth from the C? Play off of the ninth. play a D scale. You're not playing a D scale. You are playing an A minor scale. So forget about the D other than the fact that it's the root of the chord. It's a bitonal root. Bitonal meaning two. Bi. Root. Chord. So when you look at that, 
Don't be deceived into thinking, ooh, I'm going to do some D minor stuff. Mm -hmm. No, no. You're doing that stuff. All right, go. Yeah. And remember, I, I said only play the root one or two times and then get your left hand onto the actual chord. changing yet you need four bars of each of those chords so in your mind you gotta hear one two three four two two three four three two three four two three you gotta hear that in your head before you change Is that where your count was? Mm -hmm. Okay, then it's time to change. And don't be afraid to add that nine in your left hand. Now I think. Back. Remember the whole cycle. The whole cycle repeats twice. F sharp, not F natural. D flat F. And what scale did we say we're going to run through that? Uh, I said B flat links it, with uh, D flat. No, for through that one, I believe we said A flat. Here's where your left hand has got to get more active. And I went through this whole thing with Brooke and she's gotten pretty good at it. Your left hand has to become an index where you can drop the root note and then come up and play chords. Boom, boom. So there's no time for this hand to get lazy. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to move it seamlessly back and forth. Let me demonstrate again.
not those, but the same chord only with an against an A minor. This is the so what chord moved up to an A minor. Here it is using a C minor. So how do you find the notes? How do you find the notes? You, you go to the sixth. Here's an A minor. Here's an A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. That sixth becomes the top note of your so what chord. Okay? Because mm -hmm. when we were in D minor, playing so what, the actual song, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, there's the top note. Build the triad backwards off it, add the fours, and you got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're playing a song that has an A minor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, build the triad off it, add the fours. See that? So when you're when you're comping behind a horn player, you can use those. You can also you can use this. Sings, then your soloing is naturally going to expand. you're doing here? So, when you change your voicings, it gives you more solo ideas? Invariably. Because just by doing so what chords, Thank you. 
use my right hand then? Mm -mm. No. Because you can play a whole song if you make this and that lazy. Mm -hmm. Learn to make jumps between here and whatever your chord is. Uh, 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 uh. Practice that for accuracy. Because if you just think you can jump and play it, it's going to be sloppy. Right. So, uh, uh. There's the chord with both hands. So, I don't care what Mr. Sneed is telling you, this is how Herbie right. wrote it and played it. Right. In fact, I think mm -hmm. I even saw the original manuscript on it. Mm. Herbie's been a friend of mine for years. So how's somebody else going to tell you how to interpret this man's music mm -hmm. that he wrote specifically a certain way? Right. And then, like I say, you go out on a bandstand at a jam session and they call that tune and, and you playing what Mr. Sneed taught you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get the <laughs> hell out of here. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mo 